Hi, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. Yesterday was absolutely fantastic. I tried to be as present with family that was visiting as possible. That's why there was no video. This last year taught me just how precious life was and how quickly life can change. So yesterday would have been Tommy's grandmother's 100th birthday. She passed away a few years ago and it was great to celebrate just her life and get the family together and visit and hang out with everyone. Over the years, I've heard memories of her helping raise her younger brothers and sisters, living with dirt floors, which is crazy to think, making do with very little, loving the Lord with every ounce of her being, and the big one, being the glue that held this very family together. When I first met her, she was very quickly losing her eyesight and she wanted to make me a fried egg. And to this day, it was the very best fried egg I've ever had. And all the way until her very last days, she could still make like dumpling dough for chicken and dumplings by feel. That's an art because I can't make dumpling dough even measuring and seeing everything. <laughs> She did it by feel. She knew just the words to say to soothe a troubled heart, witty comebacks to make you laugh, and she had a steadiness that we miss every day in our home. So Webster's Dictionary defines heritage as an inherited way of thinking, feeling, or doing. A few days ago, it was the first anniversary of the passing of my grandmother. She too was the glue to our family. She may have only been less than five foot tall, but she was feisty, loved our family with everything she had, posted some of the funniest jokes on Facebook, and pointed me back to Jesus just when I needed it the most. Both of these women loved their families, opened their homes to countless others, and passed on a heritage of faith, family, and fellowship. The similarities between these two makes me giggle sometimes. <laughs> Every now and then when I think about a response that they may have to different situations that I'm in, oftentimes the response would be almost the same thing. <laughs> I recently saw a thing on Facebook that there's one person in the family that is the glue of the family and that when they pass, the family just kind of goes its own way. So I am challenging myself and you to start being the glue in our own families. Don't let another week, month, year go by without visiting, calling, gathering together. Heal the broken relationships. Resolve to do better. Think about the heritage that we are leaving to the next generation. So my word for this year is community, and that starts with me. If I'm not doing my part, my community isn't growing. It takes an intentional effort to build on the community and heritage that has been passed down to me by both of these women.
Thanks for coming along with me today as I work through some of my thoughts from the past few weeks and especially this weekend. I will see you tomorrow for another vlog and more spring projects. Bye.